if you're making a game right now, you're probably doing something incredible. You're creating something that didn't exist before you started. And yet, most of that effort stays hidden. Only a few friends, maybe a few Discord folks know what you're working on. What if more people could see it? Let's get one thing straight. Starting a YouTube channel in this year and this time isn't about becoming famous. It's not about gaming the algorithm or becoming the next Brekkies. Honestly, we already have a Brekkies. We don't need more polished, faceless tutorials with stock music and sterling pacing. We need people, we need developers who are figuring out as they go. We need voices that are awkward, honest, passionate and even a little chaotic. In other words, we need you. There's this idea floating around that content has to be perfect before sharing. That your first video has to look professional, be tightly edited and have a perfect hook. But here's the truth, it doesn't. Your first videos won't be perfect and that's fine. They're not supposed to be. What matters is showing up. What matters is learning as you go because with every upload you hit a checkpoint. And if you keep at it, those checkpoints will start to form a strong path. One others can follow as well. You might be thinking, but my game isn't ready yet. I don't have anything worth showing. Yes, you do. Even a half finished prototype, even if you're stuck on a bug or just fiddling with shaders. This is still part of the process and people love seeing that process. In fact, sometimes showing the rough edges is more valuable than actually showing something that's finished. Because it's real, it's relatable and because it gives someone else the permission to keep going without being perfect with their imperfect game. You don't need fancy gear to get started. You don't need a DSLR camera or perfect sound creating room. All you need is a screen, recording and your voice. Talk about what's going on, explain how a mechanic works or why it doesn't, share the joy when something finally clicks or the frustration when it doesn't. That's how people connect. Not flash, not perfection, just honest moments. And no, you don't need to go viral. Viral videos are a lottery ticket. Building a small, steady audience is something that you can control. When you post regularly, you start understanding who your game resonates with. You begin to see patterns, what people respond to, what they comment on, what they share. And that's really useful. That's a superpower. Because it means you're not making a game in the dark anymore. You're building with a tiny community watching, cheering you on and sometimes guiding you in the right direction. And even if nobody is watching at first, that's okay too, because sharing your journey helps you grow. It forces you to step back and look at your own design choices, to explain them clearly, to reflect. And that's something that benefits your game, even if the view count says 3. And you know, you might be thinking, I'm just one person, I don't matter that much in the big picture. But here's the thing. You and I are just a little speck compared to what's going on out there. But don't worry, no matter how small or insignificant that might make you feel, you're still amazing. Your perspective, your experience, your humor, your mistakes, they're all valuable, even if you feel invisible. The game dev space is full of people pretending to have it all figured out. But what we really need is someone who's willing to say, I have no idea what I'm doing right now, but here is what I tried. And that is honestly rare. And that's powerful. If you're worried about being interesting, don't be. You don't have to perform, you just have to be present. Show the game, show the progress, talk about the decisions, even the ones that you regret. That's how you build something bigger than just a game. You build a trust, you build a voice, and you build momentum. Let me give you a simple way to start. Pick a small feature from your game. Maybe it's a jump mechanic, maybe it's a shader, maybe it's a menu transition. Record your screen, talk for a couple minutes and share it what you are trying to do. Upload it and that's it. That's your first video. It doesn't need to be long, it doesn't need to be flashy, it just has to be you talking about what you're building. Because when you do that, you're no longer building in silence. You're creating something that's visible. 
something that can reach people and something that can grow. And as you keep going, you will get better. Your audio will sound clearer, your delivery will become smoother, your editing will improve, even game designs will evolve because talking about your systems makes you see them differently. It's not about overnight success, it's about quiet progress. Stacking small efforts together until you can look back and realize I've come a long way. So should you do game development videos in this year? Yes, even if you're not ready, even if you feel awkward, even if you think nobody will care. Because showing up just as you are might be exactly what someone else needs to see. Start now, start small, start honest. You don't need permission. You don't need polish, you just need to care enough to hit record and the rest will come from itself. If you want to see this in action, I've been documenting my own journey building Trisha Drift. It's a drifting game where everything is a bit dark and a bit moody, but I share a lot of it and slowly people started to care. Not because it's just a game, but because of the progress and the process about the little moments that made it real. If that sounds like it's interesting to you, feel free to check it out. Trisha Drift is on Steam and it's getting a bit faster every week. So you don't have to go viral, you don't need to be perfect, you just have to show up and that's how you grow. That's how you build trust and that's how you make something that lasts. You already started the game, now start sharing it. And if you liked the video, please consider hitting subscribe and with that, I'll see you in the next one.